Curious George at the country store. George said the man with the yellow hat, I have a treat for you today. I'm going to take you to the old country store. I hope Mr. Brigham is still well enough to run it. Soon they were off in their little blue car. George, I have some things to do, said the man. I'll be back in a little while. Get a loaf of bread for us, but don't get into trouble. George got out of the car and the man drove off. The store was full of customers. Everyone wanted something different. And Mr. Brigham was standing in the middle of the store, scratching his head. I can't find those little crackers you used to have in a wooden barrel, said an old lady. I want some of the old-fashioned molasses, said someone else. Oh, where are the penny candies, asked a little boy. Please have patience, said Mr. Brigham. My helper is sick, and it takes me a little longer now. George remembered where Mr. Brigham kept the bread. George liked the soft bread best. How could he tell which one was the softest? He started squeezing each one. He squeezed them all, even the crusty French bread. Just then, he heard a woman ask, do you still carry those large bags of flour? Uh, they are way up on the top shelf, Mr. Brigham answered. Uh, just be patient, I'll get to it. And he wiped the sweat off his face. George looked up. On the top shelf were many large bags tied up with string. He climbed up and pulled a string of one of the bags. But it wouldn't move. He grabbed the bag with his hands and feet and pulled as hard as he could. The string broke and the bag tumbled over. Flour came pouring down over fruits, vegetables, eggs, cheese, even over Mr. Brigham's head. What a mess! That little monkey always makes trouble. You come down this very minute, he shouted. George started to hide behind one of the bags. He was scared. Wait, Mr. Brigham, said a woman. That little fella is right up there. Maybe he can get one down for me. George knew what to do. He climbed down the shelves with the bag of flour. What a clever monkey, said the woman. I want those peas, said a man, pointing to another high shelf. George jumped up, grabbed a can of peas, and dropped it into the man's hands. Now everyone wanted something. George swung from shelf to shelf and filled all orders. What fun! Well, said Mr. Brigham, I guess we'll forget about the flower bag spilling all over. You helped me a lot, and that made up for it. Just then, the man with the yellow hat came in. I've finished my chores, he said. Time to go home, George. Let's pay for the bread. Please, uh, take this one for free, said Mr. Brigham. And he handed over the softest loaf. George can work here anytime he likes. George thanked Mr. Brigham, and then he and his friend got into their little blue car and went home.